Vita Zay Fruity back again for another deck review. This is Yves Fontaine, slight addition from Zach Mueller, and there is a slight difference, <laughs> see what I did there, from the other versions, and that is that it says slight addition on top instead of supreme back. And then it just says Fontaine, playing cards with the F. It is a nice blue color, I will say that, and nice contrast to the original blue, which I do have. It says, you know, distributed by Fontaine cards on one side and the other, as well as Made in USA. Top says Fontaine, the bottom. One of 10,000 first edition slight FontaineCards.com, designed by Zach Mueller. And the back, you see the back design. If you saw my other review on the green ones, you'll, you'll see what I think of the design portion of this deck. And I would not put my name on something like this if it was me, if I designed this, because there's not much effort or design skill required for this. In fact, the F is actually just from like a Apple computer font. The name Fontaine was actually bored from something else. The whole Supreme back comes from his love, Zach Miller's love for the Supreme brand, which he's trying to mimic and, and whatnot. Everything is basically just bored and copied from elsewhere. Including, I mean, the, the logo, the name, everything's bored. The flap, there's no seal. The flap, you get the Fontaine spade grip. And I should point out as well this deck, the Slight, the name Slight. Apparently this is um, related to a movie called Slight. I don't know if they used the deck in the movie or not. But Zach Miller apparently had some kind of involvement in that. And that's where the deck and the name comes from. You did get a blank card, no double backer. It's a nice blue color. And you get the add card. There was 10,000 produced apparently. However, I'm going to say that there was no way in hell that Zach Mueller released 10,000 decks because they sold out in minutes and that is basically impossible. Even with resellers buying half a dozen bricks or whatever they did, maybe a gross, to sell on their websites and Ebays and a lot of these websites too like Art of Play and Magic Shop San Diego and whatnot, they probably got their decks directly from Zach Mueller. They didn't buy them on the website. He's like, Here, here's a gross for you, a gross for you. So then, by the time he sells it on his website, he's only got a couple of thousand decks left, probably, or a few thousand decks. And then you got resellers from other smaller shops buying them by the brick or the gross, and then they sell out very quickly. And then they end up on eBay and websites for like 50 bucks each, 40 bucks each. This cost me 40 bucks on order play. The green one cost me 50 bucks, and that's American, so when you convert that to Canadian, it's actually a lot more than that, which sucks. But, you know what, I decided, I said, screw it, I'm not going to let resellers and Cardisans, or Cardist, I should say, and Floristas have all of them. I decided, I'm going to get in on it, I'm going to get them for myself, even if it costs me a bit more than I'd like to. But you know what? I would have gladly paid 15 bucks for this on his website if I was able to. But I wasn't able to. Even the green deck I wanted to buy. But I wasn't able to because they sold out by the time I got there. He released this at 2.45 a.m. my time. I didn't even know it was going to be released. I wasn't going to get up at 3 in the morning to buy it anyways. And I would have fought with 10000 that I would have been able to pick it up the next morning when I woke up and saw the email. But no. Not a chance in hell. The pink ones, by the way, I didn't get, have no plans to get, because I'm just not a big fan of the colored pink that he used. But they're still available here and there, if I should change my mind. Everything else is completely standard. I forgot, I didn't pull out the joke as well. I did, but I had to restart the review, unfortunately. Um, the jokers... They're uh, both identical. They say Fontaine with the blue and the F in the corner. It's like a big F U, isn't really. <laughs> um, that's what his next text would be. The F U. The Fontaine U. <laughs> and then the Ace of Spades says Fontaine in blue. Everything else is completely standard. Uh, a bicycle stock. Eric Lewis and Spanish, from what I can tell. Maybe a crest stock. Um, you know. Artistically, it's not the most artistic deck. It didn't take a whole lot of creativity or artistic design to put this together. Anyone with a computer can do it. The color is nice, though. 
Um, quality is fine. It's a pretty nice, you know, it's a decent quality. What I don't agree with is how these are released or being sold, releasing them at 3 in the morning, which is not convenient for most people in North America, unless you're on the West Coast, and not, not even convenient for anyone in Europe, mostly just for Asians. And the fact that there's no limits, so people buy them, you know, five, six bricks, and then they resell them on eBay for 50, 60, 100 bucks, Despite the fact that there is 10,000 produced and they're not limited or not that limited in any way, they're still going for way too much money than what they should be going for. And Zach Mueller, by the way, he doesn't give a crap about you or me. All he cares about is the money. That's all he cares about. He's laughing all the way to the bank. He's laughing at all of you people like me buying these decks for 50 or 40 bucks or 100 bucks on eBay, and he's probably, I would not be surprised if he is one of the resellers on eBay conning you out of your money because he can't. And obviously he's gonna have decks that he's gonna keep for himself. I'd be surprised if he doesn't have a gross for himself and if he's not reselling them under some fake name on eBay at 150 bucks each just so he can make more money off people like you and me. That, you know, is the kind of person you're supporting when you buy these decks, a guy who doesn't give a damn about anyone except all he cares about is making the money. So that is that. I'm not even going to, uh, sorry, I'm not even going to rate this. Comment or subscribe. Let me know what you think. Check out collectiblepointcross.com. Use the code BJSA32. Save 10% on your order. And I'll see you next time with more.